On 20th November 1902, Gandhiji went back to South Africa at the request of the Indian community and revived the fight against anti-Asian laws. One such legislation, Asiatic Law Amendment Act, forced the Indians in the Transvaal province to get registered with the Registrar of Asiatics, submit to physical examinations, provide fingerprints and carry a registration certificate at all times. Otherwise, Indians and other Asiatics, as they were called, could be fined, imprisoned or deported. It came to be known as Black Act. When the certificate offices opened on July the 1st, 1907, registers picketed outside the offices and dissuaded passing Indians from registering. They gathered support for non-cooperation in temples, mosques and churches. Initially known as the Passive Resistance Campaign, Gandhiji coined the term Satyagraha as an alternative name. At the closing of registration, only 511 out of the 13,000 Indians in the region had registered. In January 1908, Gandhi Ji was arrested. The jails were filling rapidly with satyagrahis refusing to register. Later that month, military leader General J. C. Smuts was forced to negotiate. With Gandhi Ji and other campaign leaders in prison, General Smuts presented an ultimatum. If Indians would register voluntarily, the Black Act would be repealed and prisoners released. Gandhi Ji agreed on behalf of the campaign. After word of the deal spread, some campaigners felt betrayed. In the middle of February, Gandhi Ji was attacked and injured by a group of angered satyagrahis on his way to the registration office. He reiterated his trust in General Smuts and registered himself. Soon after, Smuts introduced a bill validating the voluntary registrations but did not keep his word about the Black Act. Gandhi ji gave him until August the 16th, 1908 to fulfill his promise and repeal the act. Gandhi ji's leadership was accepted for the next phase in the struggle. The last ultimatum was sent to General Smuts, repeal the Black Act or registration certificates will be burnt. Ultimately 2000 registration certificates were burnt by satyagrahis in a giant fire. 20th of November is also the birth anniversary of the great anti-British warrior and the ruler of the erstwhile kingdom of Mysore, Tipu Sultan. He was born as Sultan Fateh Ali Sahab Tipu in 1750 in Devanahalli, Bengaluru. He was the oldest son of Sultan Hyder Ali of Mysore. Tipu was trained to be a warrior from his early teens, and he accompanied his father on campaigns against rivals such as the British East India Company. Known as the Tiger of Mysore, he fought several successful wars against the East India Company, starting in 1766 when he participated in a campaign at the age of 15. In 1780, Tipu defeated Colonel Bailey of the East India Company at the Battle of Pollilore. The following year, he seized Chittoor from the British, and in 1782, he defeated Colonel Braithwaite at the Battle of Annaguri near Tanjore. Tipu was a pioneer in the use of rocket artillery. He deployed the rockets against British forces and their allies in their 1792 and 1799 siege of Srirangapatna and during the other Anglo-Mysore wars. After his defeat in 1799, the British shipped these weapons to Britain to replicate them through reverse engineering. Napoleon, the French commander-in-chief who later became emperor, sought an alliance with Tipu. Tipu was a believer in international trade and sent trade delegations to Afghanistan, Iran, Turkey and Myanmar. He rationalized the administrative system and encouraged the local industries. He introduced a new coinage, a new calendar and a new land revenue system which initiated the growth of Mysore silk industry. Tipu is also credited with modernization of the army, roads and irrigation system. He built the first road network in Malabar in Kerala. Tipu was killed in May 1799 while defending his fort at Srirangapatna against the British forces. Mm -hmm. 